Hey, darling. Um, oh, see me. I've come to give you gist, sweet gist. We're talking about Perry and white money today. My name is Omi Odike. I'm watching go this talks on Omi TV. I love to give very sweet and juicy gist. And today I have gist for you. White money, Perry, Maria, Sammy, Saga. They are all on the table today for us to dissect. Where do I start from? Let me just begin with um what happened today. This is Bibi Niger Gist. If you guys don't know, if you're new here, I love to enter their matter, right? Okay, so so what happened right now is that they had to present a task, you know, a Guinness task here. And when tasks like that happen, you can tell people who have never like worked in a team before, Sammy is super annoying. Super annoying. Like, see, last last one person has to win. Losing is a very painful thing. I know it's so painful. When you now lose lose back to back, it's really, really painful, right? But I just don't like how Sammy does a task and then comes and just like talk about it and how like relax. It was a Guinness task here. Yeah? They had to, you know, perform. It was supposed to be like a show, show, yeah. So they had MCs, dancer, and they was to compose a song, dance to it, perform to it, yeah. White Money's team that had Cross and Sasuke and that. Peace's team that had Nico Rose, that had Emmanuel. Jackie's team that had um, Sammy, Irene, Saga, uh, Boma, exactly. And they all performed there. Yeah? And of course, Peace's team killed it from when. Peace just came and just carried the, the mic. Her intro like was bad. While the show was going on, I was just hearing Sammy say, oh, because they were the second to perform. Oh, that if we don't win this tag, he'll be very angry. He'll be very angry. He'll be very angry. Like told ah, ah. I said, Baba, calm down now. Even when they got into the house, he was still complaining. Ah, ah. I was like, but what's this guy's problem? This was the same thing they did during the the art work thing. Like he was just, I'm just like, man, see, eh? Alawi, he's young, he's still in school. He has never done, like, he has never had to work teamwork. Do you get me? Like, you, you, I feel like, that's why I say, we leave school, get a job, work in a corporate organization, see what it is like to work as a team. You don't come he, out and bitch and, no, like, you work, you work as a team, yeah, but that's it about Sammy. Let's talk about, okay, in fact, you know what? Let's address the elephant in the room. Hmm? Perry and White Money. Now, Perry has finally relieved White Money of his duties, like his kitchen duties, yeah? And social media wants to go crazy! Now, see, there are two sides to it. And you know, I have to put my mouth in the matter. The first side is the act itself of, re of relieving White Money of his kitchen duties, like cooking for the house. You get me? He says, like, well, I mean, it doesn't matter what it says because we know why he did it. Perry thinks that cooking is white money strategy and he had to just take him off it right and so angel is a new like head of the kitchen assisted by tega princess and jmk and white money was like okay no problem fine yeah but then when they went to the room now i have no problem with Perry relieving white money off the duty i really don't because the first um the first head of house was it the first no 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 i think it was boma's time boma's time he gave white money that role to be the head and no one person has to rule the kitchen you get me like let it flow man my problem however happened when they got into the room um boma and maria and they started to discuss the whole matter it was the words that Perry used to describe the house me that they are lazy they are dumb you get i'm just like ah baba calm down now now you're crossing the line now you're insulting you get me that's where i have problem with you get me? and let's really address this thing hmm? this is a game they're all going there to play if Perry thinks this is white money strategy and he has a way to counter the strategy he has the right to do it it's a game let other housemaid find other people's strategy. Take for example, if me, you, and one and another person really are gunning for 30 million naira or 90 million naira, and I'm doing some things that I know how to do best to get me closer, and you figure it out and you can counter it, but you will counter it. You will not get emotional or sentimental, you will counter it. Let's not let's take out our sentimental heart here yeah. truthfully let the housemate figure out other people's strategy and knock it off look at maria for example watching the show i know her strategy she like to the public wants to look like she's the best person she does it well oh oh you know she you know she'll come and do oh no 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 but behind you she's pinching you that's her strategy obviously i mean look at her thing white money she goes to the room and was talking to perry how oh no that she's not white money side that can you call can you call white money thinks it's smart that so that nobody that, so that nobody would um nominate him for eviction yeah but i know that if she goes outside she will be nice to white money like how she called white money's name when only wildcats could nominate and 
went and was crying <laughs> hugging white money i don't even know how i called his name baba you called his name because you were angry with him earlier in the day can the housemate figure out her strategy and knock her out of it yeah man that's how i see it though it's just like life life will throw you like how do they say it if life gives you lemon make lemonade i trust white money food might be might have been one or cooking rather might have been one strategy but the guy is good with singing the guy is good all round you get me like he's good with singing he's good with people he's good with gist he's good all round so if they think that they can hold him down with food or oh, yeah no problem now let him now show us that he's interesting whatever he's up for eviction let his fans vote him but is Perry wrong for changing or taking him out of the kitchen i don't think he's wrong i don't sincerely speaking i don't see anything wrong there if i go there and you catch one of my one of my acts or oh, yeah no problem now i'll give another one because that's life in your office your boss is, your boss will do things that you don't like but you will not come on the world will not end no you go to the office tomorrow and you will get better at the job and you will show your boss that see hmm? you cannot knock me down that's exactly how it is that's what i'm saying man i really don't have energy with white money obviously i don't but it's a game see they in the house now there are 23 of them all of them in their mind they all think that they have a shot at the money and they all do because you never know what will happen you get so let, let, let them play whatever card they want to play this is a game we need to remember that it's a game it's not a family affair it's not a vacation you get me it's not a family it's not it's not, it's not a heritage or an inheritance it's a game that all player has to act fast to get the money that's my point man it was until he started to like perry and maria started to insult the housemates or dumb people i'm just like no 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 no. now you're crossing the line obviously you're crossing the line and perry had been acting military in general I, I cannot don't disrespect me disrespect ah. he's killing his own game because that head of house he will not be there forever i'm sure perry knows and maria knows that once monday comes hmm, or only if Maria wins H O H. If or Biggie come and drop one twist. If not, they are coming out. Hey, yeah, I'll do what you want to do, but don't knock their games off. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And also, let's talk about Saga and Nini. I'm talking about this because I actually got a message um or a comment that I was like, hmm, about Saga saying that he had wished Pere had chosen um Nini. Truthfully, Saga says he likes Nini, right? Yeah, and. That was his way of proving that I can do anything for somebody I love. At this point in time, he thinks, or I won't say he thinks, maybe he's he's loving her. He's spending time with her. It's a confined space. She's she's giving him open arm. Yeah. It just shows how far he can go for somebody he loves. And it's not bad. It's really not bad at all. Do you get me? If he wants to risk, you know, his his chances for the girl that he loves, beautiful, all well and good. I take it back. Like now I see I, and it was who a day two too. Thank you for just correcting me. Now I see, you know, how far he wants to go for his love. Yeah. I want to end this one talking. Okay, let me also give you updates on Sammy and Angel. Man, Sammy tried to talk to Angel. She's not responding to him. Sammy finally confessed that until Angel mentioned the word slut shaming. He had no idea what that word meant at all. He had no idea, right? And Angel said something because um, earlier today, Angel was in the bed with KV because KV was feeling guilty. He was like, you know what? Let me come and talk about it. Like, I was the one that picked you. I was the one that you kissed. I'm the reason for all this. Okay, calm down. Angel said that she wants to change. The fact that ladies were laughing when she was complaining about what Sammy said even hurt her. So she wants to stay clear of the ladies. And KV was like, big ups KV. KV was like, no man. And because Angel is a writer, she takes words like seriously. But KV was like, see, you can't take words that seriously because you always leave the house and people would say different things to you you cannot always get triggered by words like move it move on it's okay you get me so that was good yeah and so angel finally explained what slut shaming means in case you don't know what it means it just means uh, you know when you're being judged based on your sexual like behaviors you get me when people just judge you okay because you did crude or dare you kiss this person you must be weak you must be loose you get me yeah so that's what she said and she was like that see that she hardly spends time with guys like she's only with guys when they are doing truth or dare usually she's chilling living her life talking to people 
but like you cannot literally see her spend time with guys unless it's a game and she dresses the way she wants to dress that's how she wants to dress that's who she is which i mean is granted you know yeah you can dress anyhow you want to dress but i will still advise you if you want to be taken seriously if you want to be addressed better just look better that's all i'm going to say because this is the world we live in no matter what we say or do no matter what you say in this world Sha, this planet earth you are addressed by how you dress especially if you're in nigeria africa nigeria anyhow you dress is how people address you simple and short so if you want to be addressed properly you then you have to dress properly yeah but yeah that's between angel and sammy and kv at some point you get me from kv talking to angel because they were all on they were both on angel's bed next thing i knew you get me angel was on his shoulder i'm just like okay baby you know in his arm they were talking they were just pretty much cuddly i'm like okay i see you and you know he was giving her a story about his life how you know he's been on the streets like hustling for like clothes and just hustling for money literally from the age of 14 to 15 you know just he was just trying to just get angel closer to him which i'm like okay i mean i'm, I'm here for any twist and turn baby ninja has for me and angel finally explained you know how they've been saying that angel said that he, he's like, because he's from the north he's not really exposed but maybe it's true like you get me like I mean, the, the dressing in the north and the dressing in Lagos is all, is totally different. And if you have opportunity to leave the country, the dressing is different. You get me? In the north, you ha- you literally have to dress responsibly. Like you cannot just. I don't know. I feel because even in Abuja, I, even me, I know that I cannot just wear a bomb shot anyhow. I have to wear trousers that cover my body. But in Lagos, but I can wait and just go anywhere. Yeah. So that's so that's what she meant by you know him being in the north and not being exposed. But anyways, that's Angel and sammy what do you think do you guys want angel and sammy to make a a sheep or you don't want it please tell me in the comment section my darling just i want to hear your opinion really and then what okay oh 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 my gosh i saw something that was so saddening i'm just like let's talk about it you have to talk about it do you guys remember ultimate love i i caress her it seems that they've broken up oh man so Teresa put a post earlier and said let me read to you exactly what she said I'm sorry to all Icaressa lovers and believers, but we've decided to go our separate ways because we believe it's best for us. We hope you respect our decision as we forge ahead with our lives and our careers. Like on Teresa's birthday, they literally got engaged. I did not see that coming. I I didn't see that. Of course, during the show, I had my own doubts. I felt like they just seemed too young to go all the nine years i'm not going to lie but when they left the house and i saw them moving and loving i was like you know what i was wrong obviously i was pushing them like when they even got engaged i was happy for them in all sincerity so seeing this i mean it's sad you know a, a break of engagement is not a good thing to get me but they know what is good for them they know why they made the decision i wish them all to luck yeah man and if you're an icresa fan just encourage them really encourage them talk to them don't don't ju- like it, i'm sure it must have been hard for her to put it up on instagram don't try to push it just encourage them yeah and show them the love and it's okay you get me if you go to a show and you're engaged with somebody and you know marry the person it's okay it's really okay like a broken engagement is obviously better than a broken marriage right exactly but yeah man that's all the g's for today i'm in the comment section i want to hear what you have to say about it my darling um oh my gosh today today i went for i went actually a bit shopping and i saw the material i would like my guests to wear and i'm just like oh my gosh i'm so happy like i can't imagine what did my, my white wedding will look like if you have not joined the group i have a whatsapp group for people who want to attend the white wedding who are in abuja because people are there and they're like ah, i mean lagos is happening in abuja so please if you're in abuja yeah click the link down below and join also you want to be part of like the whole planning also join as well i mean we're talking and saying i i really would just be happy to see talk to your homie like subscribers there like physically like, i was like oh my gosh i'll be so happy i'm not going to lie you get me exactly i have a vlog channel called talk to your homie vlog there i show you my life and what i do you get me how just the, I, I just really show you like the behind the scene of all this how i'm living my life how i'm making money spending money being a cheek all that jazz actually you guys everything it's called talk to your homie vlog i'll put a link down below um of like one of my vlog videos watch it you will love i know you will love it just go and click the link down below and watch it and please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up i'll appreciate it 
let me go and watch, well, let, let me just edit this video and share with you guys and go and watch more gist i come and give you i love you so much my love bye bye